So, uh, I think Christmas is arriving. Yeah, your hair is perfect. Did you wash it? Dang, it does. It do actually does look good. I started to say, I think Christmas is arriving. Dan got me a, a present. It's the best bicycle, voted best for 2023. I know some of you are getting tired of me doing product reviews, but how could I pass up the best bicycle? Got to get it unboxed, get it put together, and we'll go for a ride. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. This is an Ingwe 24 inch 1200 watt electric bicycle. And you've heard me say before in videos that I laid my Honda trail bike down in the desert and I thought I was too old for two wheels. <laughs> well, <laughs> when they offered me this, I felt younger. <laughs> you know, if it hadn't come at Christmas time, I might have reconsidered, but hey, I thought, this will be a great Christmas present. Wow. Wait till you see this. To say that it was well packed for shipping would be the understatement of the day. This is a nice looking piece of machinery. Did I say it was well packaged? About an hour later, it's never gonna be cleaner or prettier. Explore a new way. Ingway is the way. <laughs> I promised Ingway I could get a video out in two days before Christmas, but uh, today's the uh, 23rd. <sighs> I'm going to do it. But right now I'm just having some lunch. Uh, Vietnamese beef noodle soup. Some... Um, Sriracha. If I'm going to get a video out in two days, I better just sit here and talk about it while I'm eating. This X series comes in three different models a 20 inch tire, a 24 inch tire, and a 26 inch tire. I opted for the 24 because uh, they have the same hub motor, same torque, and I think a smaller tire will give you more power than a larger tire. I might not be right about that. I'm not uh, an engineer, but and I can't calculate that, but uh, it makes sense to me. The other reason I ordered the 24 instead of the 26 is because I can't stand up over the 26. Uh, they give the dimensions, and my five foot nine uh, height and my crotch just uh, touches the bar there, and I have to get up on the pedal to get on the seat. I rode it around uh, the blue bus and my RV a couple of times and just pedaling it. No electric motor yet, just pedaling it. I don't even know what gear it was in, whatever gear it came in, just because I was excited to get on it and try it. And it pedaled uh, easy. I, um, I could pedal at home if I ran out of battery. I could never pedal my tricycle home if I ran out of battery. It's too heavy. This one is heavy. It's a heavy electric bike. I think it's supposed to weigh like 87 pounds. Uh, one of the reasons it's heavy is because it has two batteries. Speaking of running out of battery, you're probably not going to. There's a battery in the seat post there, and there's a second battery in here. This one is 19 amp hours and something, and this one is 10 amp hours and something. So you got about 30 amp hours of uh, battery, and uh, that's supposed to get you like 62 miles. 
If you're not pedaling, and if you pedal a little, I think he said 91 miles. Don't quote me on those things. I'm going by memory of other reviews I've looked at. Uh, the 20-inch model and the 26-inch model have uh, different kind of spoked wheels. These are just regular bicycle spokes, and that was one of the compromises that I made when I decided to get the 24 instead of the 26. Sorry, Calvin. No chopsticks. Pretty cool looking bikes, eh? A fine looking machine. Well, what else? Uh, the hub motor is 1,000 watts, peak 1,200, and in other reviews I've seen, it, it does even better than that. Now this bike is uh, a class three bike. Most states class bikes, uh, e electric bikes, e-bikes, as one, two, or three. And one and two, uh, maximum speed allowed on a bikeway is 20 miles per hour. The class three maximum is 28 miles per hour. And this one is, how do I say it? It has a sport mode, 31 miles an hour. And with the 26 inch, I've seen reviews going 34, 35 miles an hour. Now, I'm not particularly interested in the speed. Um, I'm not going to commute. I don't have to go to work. I'll be riding this around uh, off-road out here in the Arizona desert, which is another reason that I thought the 24, with maybe a slight bit more torque in the back wheel, would be good. Uh, anyway, two batteries, 30 amp hours, 31 miles an hour sport mode only lasts for uh three minutes and then you gotta wait 10 minutes before it'll go back into sport mode um people are getting around that by shutting it off turning it back on so they can get immediately back into sport mode but like i said i'm not interested in the speed i don't have to get to work i do have to get over some pretty rough stuff in the desert and that is exactly why I'm interested in this model. Those are coil and air shock springs. They're both adjustable mechanically and they have a Schrader valve for the air pressure in them, one on each side. There's another shock absorber right there. So that whole wheel is shocked and absorbed. And of course the front shocks uh, travel, I think if I remember correctly, eight millimeters and they too are adjustable for a soft or a harder ride. And uh, I'll give you my impression of it, but what I've seen so far in other reviews is that it's a very comfortable ride. Now the back seat there, uh, people think it's a back seat. The company says it's just for looks to cover up that part of the bike. There's no foot pegs down there. People complain about that. And I saw one guy who put foot pegs on it, but um, it's not made for a rider, although the uh, uh, capacity of the bike is 330 pounds, so you can get 330 pounds of people on it if you need to. Anyway, going to finish up my lunch here and uh, go for an electric bike ride. Ingway, the 24X. Let's go for a ride. This is a powerful bike. And I like it. But I need to go do a little more heavy duty off-roading with it. For that, I'm gonna go strap on a GoPro. The specs on this bike are impressive. Uh, 1000 watt motor, peak uh, 1200 watts. It has a fully functional display programmable. It even has a function where the lights come on automatically uh, when it gets dark. 
Shimano 8-speed uh, gears. Uh, the two batteries give you uh, 29.2 amp hours. Electric only, rated for 62 miles, and pedal a little bit, 93 miles. Triple suspension for comfort. It's foldable for transport. Top speed, 31 miles an hour. Rider weight, 330 pounds. The seat adjusts for uh, rider height up to 6 foot 4 inches. They have a one-year warranty and a payment plan if you don't want to, if you need a little financing. Uh, free shipping and no tax. You know, as I'm watching this video bounce, uh, I've got the uh, GoPro mounted on my head. It, it, it occurs to me that I was not aware of this while I was going, which is a testament to how comfortable the ride was. Um, I didn't realize that I was having all of this bumpiness uh, as it looks like I'm having in the video. This is not a comfortable thing to do with an old bike with no uh, suspension. Ingway has uh, fat tire off-road bikes like this. They have folding bikes, they have commuter bikes, they have uh, step-through bikes and e-scooters. Uh, check out their um, website. It's uh, quite an extensive line of great electric products. And right now they have discounts for Christmas up to $400 off. I kind of misjudged this right here. It's a lot deeper than I thought it was going to be, and the mud is soft down there, and I actually stopped. Uh, just kind of took my bearings and hit the throttle, and it powered right through it. I, uh, I couldn't have been happier with how the bike performed in this situation. I want to stress again that you're seeing a bouncy video, but my butt is not feeling this bounce. Uh, that suspension works well. And I haven't messed with uh, adjusting the shocks back there. Uh, it's just the way it came out of the box. I think I'll be able to tweak it. It might be even a little better. Other reviewers have complained about the battery rattling in the frame there. It does that a little bit. Not a big deal to me. The specs say this thing will handle a 30 degree slope. I'm not sure what that means, but I haven't found a hill out here that it didn't handle with ease. The fine print here says that the $400 off deal is good through the 4th of January 2024. Check out the links below to get the details. Final thoughts. I'm glad I picked this model. It fits me. I'm 5'9", 180 pounds, and this bicycle just feels right. Uh, final thoughts. I was worried about the weight of this. The specs say 93 pounds. And uh, some reviewers said, oh, it's going to be really hard to pedal because it's so heavy. Newton's first law of motion is that a body in motion tends to stay in motion when you're going, and I found this easy to pedal. When you're going, you're uh, fighting against wind resistance and friction. You're not fighting against the weight of the bike. Um, I don't want to have a physics class here, but uh, trust me, it pedals just fine. Uh, because of the weight... I felt really comfortable when I was going through the washes over there. It just feels more like a, my, my motorcycle I used to have instead of a, a light bicycle. Um, it feels stable. Uh, the big uh, four-inch tires. Of course, um, when I was getting used to it, it, we're on gravel here and rocky stuff, um, and it goes fast. I was being real careful. I'm riding without a helmet. But the more I ride it, the more I feel 
um, comfortable in cornering and traction and stability. Um, I just feel uh, uh, I feel safe. I'd feel safer if I had a helmet. But anyway, you also should probably take into consideration that I've been riding bicycles for over 70 years. <laughs> But I never rode one like this before. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.